In this technique, we are going to be layering simple images using the black painted shapes that we created earlier, as well as new images that we created when we made our stamps. For this technique, I'm going to use my Bic Whiteout pen and some white acrylic paint. And first I'll start with the paint. And what I'm going to do first is just simply layer images on stamp images on top of my black shapes. And I'm going to use my foam brush here just to load up just to load up my image and stamp it right on top of my shape. Now I don't have to stop with one. I can repeat this process over and over and over again as many times as I want. But the whole idea is to use the imagery that we just created, very simple shapes, to create more complex shapes. So. When I say that, what's really interesting is to be able to um, look at the black and white here, the positive and the negative image itself, and this will actually inspire you to create even more imagery. So you start to begin to realize that there are different shapes uh, forming in the background as you layer the white on top of the black. But how I would use these images in my collage is either by um, photocopying them to use them in my black and white collage, or I could, um, or I could create, use them to create a stencil or a screen, and depending upon how I wanted to um, work with this. Now, additionally, I can use my Bic Whiteout pen and go into these shapes and do something completely different. So maybe I want to write Maybe I want to write joy. And the Bic Whiteout pen works really well layering over that black image. Maybe here I want to, um, I want to just create some additional circles within the circle. Just playing with it. So this ex exercise actually works as um, preparation for you to go and explore these images within our collages when we apply them directly to our papers. And this way you'll be able to experiment beforehand when you go to use different colors to layer these images on your collages. Um, as an example here, I've layered another leaf design over some black, simple black squares that I had cut into a stamp. And all of a sudden, uh, looking at the, the black and the white and how the two are reacting in the negative and positive areas, I already see additional shapes that I might want to cut out of a stamp um, to create an entirely different stamp from this. So just be aware as you start to layer your images what, it is, what else you are creating um, that you don't initially think of or intend to do, because those pieces can actually create additional shapes and layers in your imagery.